Okay, here are the soap berries after they've kind of dried and fallen off the tree. There they are up in the tree. So we're at mid-December. And you can see how you can see the seed through the outer covering. So the outer covering is almost not clear. You can still see the coloration. You still see the orange tint, but you can see the seed within it, especially when sunlight shines on it. A china berry will not do that. These are all soap berry. And they're not edible, but they have soap in them. And so you can use that to make soap. That's where the name soap berry comes from. Those are soap berries. And I'll show you the bark. So the bark of the tree on the soap berry is really rough. And it, now it's got poison ivy on here growing up, but you can see that it's really tough and flaky. China berry won't have this type of bark. Okay, here you can see the difference between the china berry and the soap berry. So you can see these china berries, you can't see through them. They are yellowish, but they're not orange. But you can't see the seed in the middle. See how smooth this bark is? Almost as smooth as a locust tree. Like the honey locust tree. It really resembles that bark. Now, as it gets older, it'll get rougher bark down at the base. But those are china berries. Here's a locust tree, honey locust. You see the big thorns on it, and it's got a smooth bark. So think china berry, especially when they're young, has a smooth bark, like a locust wow. tree, if you know what that. The china berry will be kind of a dull yellow. And the soap berry will be clear to the point where you can see the seed. It'll still be an orange, a bright orange, but you can see the seed on the inside. So really dull yellow. Can't see the seed on the inside with the china berry. And with the soap berry, it'll be a, a orangish color, but the outer covering will be almost clear, not necessarily clear, but see-through so that you can see the seed on the inside.